which is tiny. It grows every uh, year 3%, but this is the first edition. Uh, also here, I think w what for me, uh, for myself is interesting, I always make these tiny books. Uh, if I um, work for, uh, make a book for an artist, for example, Stephen Alders here, or uh, well, I think this is uh, one of those books for Sheila Hicks. Um, Everybody, of course, always likes this. For me, it's to, to make a small book that's a, a, a tool. It's a working, uh, it's a process. And, um, and and the size of the book, the, the scale is very important to me. But here, of course, the scale is something different. This is a model, like an, art, an architect uh, makes a model for his building. For me, of course, to make a model is different than for an architect, because a, an architect has to make a model to uh, that, that, that's obvious, you cannot make a 100% mock-up. Of course, for a book you can, and uh, that's also what I do. For me, it's, it's uh, to oversee in, in a less confronting way how image and text is distributed. And, um, and when I make th made these small books, I also found out that, um, yeah, of course, it's a portable book. And I always wanted to convince to... to have a commissioner uh, um, made a small book. They always love when I make these small books. And then I thought, well, why does nobody uh, w really want to have this small book? Because you can take it with you. It's pocket size. Uh, like the, the, the pocket book, which was uh, invented in uh, Venice, because all these uh, long dresses, and they made a special pocket, long books, to have a book with you all the time. And I thought, not that I wanted to have my work all the time with me, but why not make a catalog which is uh, pocket size? And uh, and now I must say, I always have to book my own work with me in my pocket. <laughs> uh, but that's another story. But uh, but for me, scale and, and, and size is so important. So I made for myself uh, the book nobody else uh, wanted. So it's a mini version of of a bigger version, but anyway, so scale is 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 a very important uh, uh, part of my work. It's all about scale, size, weight, and sometimes even smell. This is a tiny book, and uh, if I give talks, I always end with this book, because this is a book made in uh, Amsterdam, and it's letterpress. It has uh, a leather a uh, leather cover. It has royal gold foil on the edges. It has end papers. You can read it. Of course, you need a ma uh, magnifier to read it. But um, miniature uh, books were made to show the craft. So this company called Tetterode made this tiny book to show how good they are, how good their their um, uh, when they made letter press uh, letters, lead letters, uh, they show they they made this how sharp they could make letters. So that's really uh, so that's why they made it. Even the tram had to uh, to stand still because every trembling uh, would uh, destroy the whole process. You can read the text. You need uh, a magnifier. The book comes with a magnifier, so it's made, I think, in the 50s, this book. So you need a magnifier and then you uh, actually can uh, can read it. And um, so, th so I always end with talks with this to uh, also to have a sort of argument why I make small books. And then this, uh, for a long time, was the smallest book I owned. It's a book with, uh, so this ha is a sort of religious uh, book, it has a cross on it. It has not a pair on it, in it. And here, um, this is a book with the Internationale. I got it from friends from uh, Hungary. Also beautifully, beautifully made book. And also uh, with beautiful end papers and illustrations and the Internationale in any language you can imagine. It's really a treasure for uh, me. So it's pocket size. It's all to have it with you all the time. It's also a sort of secret. Uh, but, but the whole idea of the mini book is a culture. So it's an enormous culture to, uh, so for different reasons, it's a, it's, a, uh, it's a culture. So here it was to prove craft, here it was uh, more 
political. And uh, my small book, what everybody said, oh, it's a gimmick and it's this uh, tiny book. You see, it's not a tiny book at all. It's actually a giant. And um, But why I made the mini book is also because I make always these... Uh, these small models. If I make uh, work on a project, um, I do it a little bit li bit less now. But before, I made from every single book, I made uh, a small book, and I only did that to oversee the distrib distribution of text and image. So it also was for me, uh, yeah, more uh, handleable. I could see better what I was doing. If you have big sheets, then it's much uh, more difficult to oversee this process. And this is very easy. It's really, uh, uh, yeah, you, it's, uh, especially to overview. And, you, and for me, it's also good to, to have time, to take time to, to glue the books together. That's, uh, yeah, I came very good at it. Uh, it's a very straight uh, edge. Uh, uh, how do you say it? Spines. But then, when I had my show in 2010 in uh, Amsterdam, uh, I know that ev for every uh, commissioner, when I make a small book, they always love it, but they never, in the end, want it. And then I thought, well, I always see my uh, commissioners as my victims, so this time I was my own victim. So uh, I thought, well, I have to make the small book. But also, for me, it was more in that. Uh, uh, the idea behind it was to uh, show how good uh, the Dutch printers and binders are. Because to make a small book, it's much more difficult than to make a big book. To make a big book is, is much more easy. But to, to this book is sewn, it has colored edges, it's really beautifully bound. Uh, it has also the royal printing on the edges. You can open it very clearly. So, uh, Ferrari here. It's a, yeah, it's it's a catalogue uh, of my work and uh, Mathieu Longe, the con the curator of the um, University of Amsterdam, he uh, wrote a text, and in my latest book, which is a bit bigger, um, and has also a French edition. Here's the French annex. Oh, it's very ugly. It was in my bag. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but every time I add uh, text and image uh, to it, here uh, Rim Kolhas wrote an introduction about our co collaboration, how we uh, make books. Um, and I add also all the time text to the books I've made, like for Ferrari, I, I write a short text about the process of, uh, of the uh, design of the book and sometimes and, and and it's not that this book contains only the books I'm uh, I like very much or in retrospective I think th th that's w what it contains that in retrospective the books which are important to me and uh, for, for good and for bad books sometimes a book is a total failure but is a very important uh, uh, or plays a very important part in my yeah, in, in how do you say that in in my career as a book designer? Because from from uh, mistakes you learn, and um, and I write about it in this book why a book it was not so good. And of course I blame it on myself because I make the book, so I'm the one who to blame. And uh, I, I see that as as f for the person for whom I made it as a a tragedy. Of course, it's it's not so good. But on the other hand. Um, it happens. It, you cannot. All, not every book can be good, and so you have to take uh, challenges and and risk to 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 do inventions. And uh, so that's that's very important to me to uh, to be fearless and uh, try to make yeah do do new inventions because I think the book. Uh, to to Im to do inventions, of course, everything already has been been done. But to uh, to reuse and 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 uh, yeah yeah, looking for the, for the the boundaries of what what a book is. So this is the first book. It was called Biography in Books, but the second edition, which is bigger. So this is the French version. You see, it's bigger. It's nine percent bigger because it's uh, three years later. So the book grows every uh, a year 3%. So if I'm 80, I have a book like this. So <laughs> really, then in the end, I have a book. But 
the, the second edition is called uh, the architecture of the book because it's all about scale and size and weight, etc. So this was 2010, this is 2013, and you see that the book is bigger. So every time, every year, it will grow. Um, so still people think this is a small book, but this is much more tiny. And uh, so every time I re-edit uh, the book, so there's more text, like I said, an introduction by Rem Kohlhaas. Mathieu Lomme uh, added more text to his first text. And, and of course, new work, uh, a book I made for uh, Izzy Miyake, which has 12 spines um, and, and endless steps. It's a book on color. Um, Sheila Hicks wrote a text about our collaboration, which is very nice. You see the three books I made for her. Ellen Gallagher for the Tate Modern, here the Chanel book, and I explain what a Chanel book is. It's a book without ink, and it's only made with uh, embossing, or yeah, and debossing. Um, so, and I re-edit, and uh, all the time more stuff, old stuff goes out, and uh, in the beginning always more new uh, works, like this book I made here, uh, I thought of uh, the idea to call the book the architecture, architecture of the book. This is a book I made for uh, uh, a family, James, Jennifer and Georgina, and it's a book uh, for these three persons. And the book also has a, 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 three, uh, a spine in three parts. And um, and the book for a book for Piet Oudolf, Hella Jongerius, Project Japan is in here. So I asked Hans Ulrich Obrist uh, to write something about our collaboration. There's also, uh, it's a book about Japanese avant-garde architecture. There's also a Japanese version, so I asked the, the Japanese uh, editor to, uh, and also the, she was also the editor of the English uh, version, to write something about uh, our collaboration. So it's a diverse, Book, but it's a, so it's a book which uh, which grows in size, but also grows in uh, in volume. So he, this is seven hundred pages. This is eight hundred pages, and um, yeah. So for me, it's also very good to reflect and to to think about what I've done, and then I think oh. Sometimes I, I regret that I made a book, and it's it's also in here and 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 yeah. And so for me, it's also good to explain uh, the failures. But on the other hand, uh, I write more and more text about uh, the stamp books, and um, and those stamp books. So they, uh, I made them in '88, become more and more important to me. And and then I think, what? Why are these stamp books so important? And I see that I was a completely different uh, person at that time. Uh, now I have my hair like this, but I was always I was extremely shy and fearless. I had no fear of how a book would be uh, accepted uh, by an audience. And so for me, the the books stand. Uh, so I really have always have them in my, on my in my sight. Uh, when they came out, I hated them because they were totally, I think, uh, totally wrong. But the more in retrospective, the books, I see them as a, as a, I was very naive, but the most important, I was very free and very, uh, yeah, fearless. And that I did these things without thinking, what should as anybody else uh, think about it? So. So for, for me, uh, and I write, every time I write more text about it, and, and more and more uh, why uh, it's so important to, to be fearless.